shouted aloud, created loud. One, two, three, four. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. I'm joined with Jason Levine, um, awesome friend, awesome musician, oh, just thank you. Adobe evangelist in general. And um, so I'm really excited to have him here to tell you some of his favorite tips and tricks with the latest release of Premiere Pro or After Effects, anything video that yeah. you can share. Yeah, well, hey, so thank you so much for having me, first thank of all. You. Great to actually finally together in person. We've been yes. trying this for quite some time. Yes. Um, so yeah, you know, favorite tips and tricks and things in Premiere. Well, first of all, some of the things that I showcased today at Max, mm -hmm. obviously HSL secondary is among them, and just the way that we've done it. Now, I've talked about this a lot. You know, you've been able to do secondary color correction in Premiere mm -hmm. 10 years, and it was mm -hmm. basically hidden and lost inside the three-way color corrector. Mm -hmm. So to have it as part of Lumetri, it's so simple. It uses like the classic eyedropper. You have an easy on-off mask. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so fast, and as someone who's not a colorist, who can achieve a really beautiful looking result yeah. and, and can you know sort of easily match things that I like, mm -hmm. it works better for me. I, I, I've always had a bit of uh, a bit of fear going into speed grade. Right. Yeah, and, me too. <laughs> uh, because that's not my background. It's not, yeah. But it's amazingly powerful. So Lumetri gives me that. And then of course, in addition to having like the film stock LUTs, which mm -hmm. many of which we've borrowed right. from speed grade, right. it's it's just a nice, it's a nice element to have. So that's mm -hmm. definitely the first. We didn't talk about this today, but this is something that I think we've talked about before, which is mm -hmm. the essential sound panel. Yes. So now I do yeah. a lot of of kind of uh, simple documentary style shooting on my own, like side mm -hmm. stuff for fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's one of those things where I don't necessarily want to go mix in Premiere. Yeah. You can, it works great, it's a VST host, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, but that's, uh, it's not quite as elegant. So yeah. I would send things to Audition and that's great. Right. And that's where I'm very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Essential Sound, which is a new panel part of Audition, lets you do that, and it's organized uh, by the type of audio you're working on, right? So you've got dialogue, music, right. effects, and ambience. Really easy to, to sort of target the type of audio that you're working with, and then it gives you, you know, compression, EQ, things that you would typically use in those scenarios. So yeah. Like a quick, fast, get to it kind of audio mix against video. And by the way, you're dynamically linking the video in from Premiere, so yeah. there's it's real time, you can still update the cut, uh, yeah. It's wonderful, and it's a great way to really get a, a, a clean, fast mix really have quickly. Have you done any of your audio 101s on YouTube on this yet, or Actually, are you planning on doing it? Actually, funny that you say that. No, so I don't think I've done any of the audio 101s on the Essential mm. Sound. I've done a couple of Twitch streams on it yeah. um, during some of our takeovers, mm -hmm. and uh, but no, but that's actually a great idea, and yeah. that's, that's the plan, too. I don't know, we've talked about this to mm -hmm. kind of um, get together and kind of leverage some Premiere Gal and uh, Premiere Beetlejuice <laughs> uh, collab happening. Yeah. But yeah, that would be, that's cool. That's um, something to explore because all these new panels are emerging and I feel like there's so many people that like they hear about it and they're like, that's great, but, yeah. and you demo it so fast, but like how do I actually do it in a practical way? And right. sometimes like the connection from Max to doing it on the ground, sometimes right. there's a bit of a delay until those tutorials are released. And actually, curiously, you just reminded me and I forgot, mm -hmm. I did in fact just shoot on CC Learn. So if you go okay. uh, to the CC Learn pages for Premiere Pro, CC there, Learn. there's a, I think it's a six and a half minute, which is pretty short for me. Okay. <laughs> I tend to be a bit verbose. Mm -hmm. There's a six and a half minute tutorial on using essential sound. Okay. And it's just a very quick get to it. Here's a what it intro. does. Yeah, good intro. I mean, it's, the thing is, I don't go into depth in how a compressor works because you don't have to there. That's kind right. of the idea is that it's, it's like a single slider. You still can reveal all of the parameters. You have total control, mm -hmm. but for, you know, newbies to audio and just doing something quickly, it's largely single sliders, mm -hmm. but it mm -hmm. works and it sounds great. Awesome. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, and actually, uh -huh. I believe you've already cut a video on this, mm -hmm. was the Audio Network Oh, panel. yeah, the Audio Network panel. Yeah, they're awesome. Shout out to Audio Network. Um, they've done such a good job 
not only of, so this is a panel that integrates directly into Premiere Pro. If you're looking for any kind of royalty-free music, um, you can search from within the panel, you can download mm -hmm. from within the you panel. You can license it within the panel. You can license, but here's the, here's the thing, because I'm, I'm a musician, I've got, mm -hmm. you know, on yeah. Spotify, Jason Levine. And, um, <laughs> retouch me. <laughs> retouch me, thank you, latest single. And um, what they've done is they actually showcase in the panel, like, the different licensing levels that you'll need for, ju you know. Because that can get overbearing. It can get overbearing, and it's very confusing. Using, and yeah. as someone who's been, I've, I've had a publishing company for like 20 years, and so I've, I've got a bit of a background in that, but let's face it, the streaming world is, is new, and how royalties are, yeah. are distributed, yeah. and I mean, even the way YouTube does it now versus even three years ago, it, it can be very confusing. So this is something they've done brilliantly by really offering up the different licensing levels for where and how and how many iterations yeah. it'll be and used And my in. favorite component about it is that when you when you actually license it and you download it, it goes directly to the, your project Absolutely. folder. And Absolutely. then you don't have to download from right. downloads and then you forget to, and then there's offline media. So yeah. as an editor, I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, um, it's so cool. And it's, I mean, they really did such a good job. I got a, I got a preview of it at IBC. Mm -hmm. um, with with yeah. the audio network people, and it was, yeah. it's just so well done. Mm. It's and I, listen, I and I told them to be honest, I'm not a I'm not a stock music. I like no. I'm not your <laughs> your customer. I make music, so right. I'm yeah. not about to use stock. But if I have to recommend that to somebody, that's it. Yeah. Like they just did it so well. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, which is really more of a it's a tip trick, but also a feature thing. All the things that we've done in AME, so Media Encoder, mm -hmm. everybody knows, right. you know. So a couple of the new things that we added, first of all, if you've got a whole series of clips and you're wanting to, now this kind of ties into our um, ingest proxy workflow, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you've got a bunch of clips that you want to stitch together. So now directly from within Media Encoder, you can take a series of clips. Now this is something you could only previously do in Prelude, right? Mm -hmm. So you have a series of shots that you want to just, right. you want to transcode as one long clip. Yes. The only way to do yeah. that prior to this next release was Prelude. Mm -hmm. And it was a checkbox that you had to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've bundled, It's so slick now, you select the clips that are meant to be stitched, you drag them into the, uh, to the queue in Media mm -hmm. Encoder, and, it, and then you'll see there's a dr two drop zones. One is transcode each individually or transcode as a single stitch clip. Ah, uh, okay. Really cool. I think that there was like some version of that in, and I know it sounds bad to say that I still use this program because it's so outdated, but MPEG Stream Clip. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah, had yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that where you yes. can batch. Like in 2008, I started right. doing that, but now like Adobe's like sort of caught up right. and made it better. <laughs> right. Well, and again, it's been in yeah. Prelude for, for quite a few versions. Right. Um, we just needed to bring some of that tech over to Media Encoder. Mm -hmm. So that's one facet yeah. of it. The other side, too, of course, you can still do, oh, and you can also do partial ingest. So this is huge, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're shooting 4K, anything, frankly. Um, again, I do a lot of documentary stuff, so mm -hmm. a lot of times we'll, we'll, we'll shoot you know, part of an interview, mm -hmm. and you know the take is 9, 10, 11 minutes, but really the bit we need, because maybe there were some false starts, we just right. needed three minutes in the middle. So yeah. why transcode or why ingest, why ingest the whole thing? That you can yeah. do a partial ingest. So yeah. that's Unless huge. you want outtakes. Unless you want outtakes, which, of course, absolutely need those. Just important. Probably yeah. have a few here uh, yeah. from today. <laughs> um, and then the other element of Media Encoder that a lot of people just don't realize is there is that you have um, loudness normalization mm -hmm. right inside the Media Encoder from Premiere. So when you, you oh, know, yeah. file okay. export media, mm -hmm. um, in the effects tab, right? There's yeah. all those tabs in Media Encoder, all the way at the bottom, and there's mm -hmm. like 15 different things we do in there. You can overlay mm -hmm. graphics, you know, watermarks, yeah, time the watermarks. code. Uh, there's a video limiter, mm -hmm. but there's loudness normalization, oh. and this is absolutely. Oh, and time tuner. We won't even time talk about tuner, that. Yeah. yeah. So that's for you know compressing or stretching thing to make it longer. I think it'll I it'll saw remove that frames. Demoed. When you're working with like short commercial spots. Correct. Like short. Right. Or yeah. or lengthen. So you, you've got something that's yeah. twenty nine fifty two thirteen. And it needs to be twenty nine fifty. Exactly. It actually looks for static frames, moments of silence, no motion, mm -hmm. and removes those single frames mm -hmm. for you unnoticeably. So I mean, the loudness is with Media Encoder? Loudness is built into Media Encoder on export, so you can choose based on your regional standard, um, oh, ITU, okay. EBU, or ATSC. Different loudness standards. Correct, and right. automatically conform your audio to the standard of that regional uh, uh, That's spec. That's awesome. It's really yeah. awesome, and especially, I mean, 
we don't think about it too much on YouTube. Stu it's still, it's funny. Yeah, we, we, it's, it's, it's kind of loudness wars there now. Yeah. But like, if you are going to go to TV, if you're going to do anything in broadcast, moving to, you know, streaming services, mm -hmm. it's it becomes more important. And it's, it, right. it's something that almost every time I show it, no one even knows that it's yeah. there because you'd have to click on effects go all the way to the bottom and there mm -hmm. it lies and it's as simple as checking a box and saying okay yeah. it's it's enabled and that's yeah. it and your audio conforms to a loudness standard great yeah well thanks for all of your tips and tricks it was a lot of fun talking to you about them <laughs> Thank and you. um i guess i look forward to doing a, a stream in the future together i um, absolutely do yeah it's yeah. gonna be awesome thanks um, enjoy the rest of max thank you yeah. thanks so much thanks for all having right. me Kelsey. of course all right, all right bye bye